dear Brielle, how are you doing? I know this is out of the blue, but I wanted you to know that I miss you, and I thought it would be nice to catch up. I know things are difficult right now with our family, but you're my little sister, and I wanted to reach out to you. I'm sure all of this has been weighing on you. I'm struggling with it too. I think it would help me to get away for a while and clear my head. I'm taking a trip to Switzerland. I'll be there for a couple weeks, so I enclosed the address to the hotel I'll be staying at. I hope to hear from you soon. Love, Mason. Dear Brielle, I wasn't sure if you'd received my first letter. I'd still like to hear from you. I hope you'll find the time to write back to me. I want things to go back to the way they were between us before you left. I know it's going to take a while for that to happen, but I'm willing to work toward that. It's pretty incredible here in Switzerland. I wish you could be here to see it too. I think you would really enjoy it. The mountains here are amazing. Next week I'm going mountain climbing at the Jungfrau. I'm looking forward to telling you about it when I get back. I hope you're doing well. Love, Mason. Dear Brielle, I'm worried about you. I still haven't heard from you. Are you okay? Please talk to me. I know it's been a while since we've spoken, but I can't just ignore you. I won't just ignore you. We may not agree with each other right now. You know I'm not comfortable with your choices, but I don't want you to push me away. I've been thinking about you a lot on this trip. I really wish things hadn't gotten this bad. I don't like having to watch you go through this. It's frustrating for me to have to stand by and not do anything. I can't just tell you that I like the choices you're making because to me it looks like you're throwing away everything that you had with mom and dad and with me. And I don't understand how you don't see that. I really wish you would listen to me. I don't want to see you hurting. Please write back. Love, Mason. Bad news. Your brother had you listed as his emergency contact, and I'm calling to let you know that he went climbing yesterday. There was a bad storm on the mountain, one of the worst blizzards this year, and he hasn't come back. We're looking for him right now, but we needed to let you know. We'll call you if we have any more information. I'm so very sorry. I'm just about to leave for my Jungfrau climb, but I wanted to send you one more letter first. Brielle, I miss you so much. I don't think you even know how much I miss you. You left, and I lost one of my closest friends in the entire world. I know you felt you had to leave, that there was no choice left for you, but there's always a choice, and there's always hope. I know you feel like you're alone, like everyone has abandoned you, turned their backs on you, that you're lost. But you'll always have me. No matter what, I need you to know that I'll never give up on you and never stop fighting for you. I love you so very much, Brielle. Never forget that. Love, Mason. Dear me, 
Nielsen. I know I'll never get the chance to actually tell you this, but I love you, and I miss you too. I wish I could have gone climbing with you one last time. And I promise I'll make things right with Mom and Dad. For you. Love, Brielle. Back soon, okay? Please. I love you. <laughs> 